Hello, my name is Tony, and welcome to Dead Cells. Now, I actually have been playing this game a good amount, uh, but I'm starting a new game in order to record, because I want to go through the tutorial with it, and actually, like, explain it and stuff. So, this is a roguelike game, which means you're gonna die, and then once you die, you respawn. Oh. Lost our head now, did we? And... <sighs> this character doesn't talk, just gestures. Well, nothing to say for yourself? Oh, well, yes, I see the problem. <laughs> no mouth, get, dude. do got a mouth. I suppose you don't think to find yourself back there. I suppose you didn't... Yeah, think to find yourself back here. Oh, here, not there. Duh. Anyway. <laughs> Shrug. But surely you must have noticed. You can no longer die. I still don't understand. It was like this with others for a while. Main weapon? Got my sword. And then, here's a little bow. And if you look down on the bottom left, you can see it's X for the sword, Y for the bow. And then there are two other buttons with nothing to them. Come from here. Oh, let's just start killing people. Ah, another archer. Ah. So this guy's just gonna be jumping at me. Like an asshole. Here's a chain I can climb. The, the green guys jump. The archers shoot. And those pink guys can throw bombs through the floor and walls, and it's really annoying. But one pretty cool mechanic of this game is actually that you take damage and then if you you have a little orange section of your health bar and if you deal damage while you have an orange section, you can regain some health. And I just think that's really helpful. Also, breaking down a door stuns the people on the other side. Just a little bit of an oh shit factor. Ah, oh, and you see here, this guy dropped a blueprint for a new weapon, which means that I can, if I beat this level and actually, like, get to the end of it, I can get that new weapon. Or, well, it allows me to spend a type of currency in this game to get the weapon, which is these called dead cells. And they're just these blue orbs that you'll see come out of some enemies when they die. It's pretty hard to miss. Ah! Damn. And there's also all these little bits that they're dropping. Those are just currency. Just currency, I assume gold of some kind, to spend in the run, or the game, which will let me buy new weapons and new items and so on and so forth. Ah! I'm not, I'm not sure if I actually like this weapon more than that beginner's but beginner's sword. I'm not, this weapon isn't too good for me. It's too slow, really. Anyway, those little floaty bits can give you money. And those guys are only douchebags with their shields and shit. Okay, this right here. Is it teleporter? Oh, I unlocked one over there, too, but I didn't notice it. So you just walk up to it, you press the interact button, and you can teleport to different spots on the map that you've unlocked. This is a pay-to-open door, or if you're feeling really risky, you just bash it open, but you have outraged the gods. If I get hit once before I kill ten enemies, I instantly die. But, I mean, I'm on one hit anyway, so it really doesn't matter all that much. Well, it's one. Oh, here he comes. Alright. That's a little gem that I could pick up. It gave me money. And here is what is essentially a level up. 
So here, I get to pick plus one health, plus one strength, which gives me plus one to those weapons that I have down there, or plus one skills, which is those two blank slots. Now, I don't have any skills right now, but I will unlock them later. Right now, I want strength, because I don't feel like dying. Uh, and if I get hit once, I die, so I want to be able to kill enemies, for they can kill me. <laughs> you can also ground pound enemies, as I like to call it. Which, I'm not sure if that's really what they were going for, but that's totally what that is. You just, in the air, you press down and A, and you just slam into them, and it's really satisfying to look at. Ah, these two. I want to get up, when either of them are looking, and then get behind, and shoot this guy. Okay. Tickle, tickle a little plant. Yep. That's, that's the thing. Another teleporter unlocked. Those are always fun. Let's look at the map. Uh, oh, it looks like I'm missing something up there. I'm gonna go back and check it. Check it out. Ooh, shopkeep. Uh, he's not selling anything too good. I guess I could get the greed shield, but... Nah, because shields, the way they work is you press the button and then it just stays up for a little bit. And anything that hits you while well, the shield is up... Uh, gets stunned and injured. I know I wasn't muted for too long, but still, there was a teleporter up here that I can use. I'm gonna be smart and do that. And just go right back down. See? Super useful. Now. Okay, so I made it all the way to the next area. That's good. Uh, and in here is where you can spend those dead cells, as they are called, you again. Interesting. I am the collector, and I will, and I, about the closest thing to company you will get down here. In exchange for cells you pillage from your foes, I can provide you with a few useful items. If you uncover any blueprints, I may be able to provide you with some more experimental items. So, that is the blood sword, which I can now unlock. But this is what really matters. The healing potion. So now, I have a little item that will let me hold the button to heal. Uh, we've got money, gold recovery. So it conserves money when you die. Which would be really useful, but I only have four cells and it takes five to do. Blood sword, which I have not unlocked yet. I would take five to unlock. You can also upgrade other things you already have, like I already have the grenade, or the balanced sword, or the ice grenade, and a couple of shields, whips, all these different things. The bear trap can't be upgraded. The bear trap is what the bear trap is. But I think what's really going to be useful right about now is more gold recovery, if I can get that. So, everything you buy here is yours forever. Not even death can take it from you. Simply put, if you want more power, then bring me more cells. Now, prisoner. Out of my sight! Your presence grows tiring. This is where you can heal after you get through the area, and it also refills your health potion. Now, on to the next area. Okay, just barrel through a few doors. Ooh, a little level up down there. I want that. Kill this guy. Shoot you. Kill you dead. Okay, let's actually pay for this door this time. And get some bonus health. Which, that little thing is essentially a level up, but it only gives you one specific one. You can tell what it's going to be based on the picture. Whether it's plus signs for bonus health, or if it's... Uh, a fist for strength. Oh, that grenade could have fucked me up super bad. Ooh, I hate grenadiers right now. Because they're the easiest ones to get you off guard. But then there's that guy up there that you can see running around. And he's called a phaser. What he can do is... Alright. Out of ammo. Damn. So, what he can do is once I start fighting him, he can follow me anywhere. So he just teleports around, 
until I kill him. And that is money stuck in a wall. Some of the wall pieces of the wall are breakable and you can get it from there. But also, I forgot to mention, with the bows, there's a certain amount of ammo. And that ammo gets stuck in the people that you fight. And you can't take it out of them until you kill them. But if you miss, then whatever, it just comes back. That little dummy thing that I just killed, um, what it does is it puts shields on everything around it. And it's super annoying because you can't deal any damage to them. And the shields are, like, on a timer. So, you can deal damage to them, but only for a window. So, yeah. Those things can be real annoying. Oh, hey, another brick wall. You can tell because there's a little, like, glowing blue rune on it. Sometimes it'll give you health, sometimes it'll give you money. Because there are little, uh, pickups that you can get throughout the map that are just... Here, have some health. Have some health. And you can actually, uh, change your diet to change what those are. It can either be, like, chicken, or it can be if you have the carnivore diet. Or if you have the monster diet, you get monster guts and a monster eye. Or if you have the vegetarian diet, I think it's, like, salad and something else. And all of them have two. One lower level heal and one higher level. I don't want a whip. The whips are so bad. At least to me. Because that one's a lightning whip down there. And its damage is just abysmal. Uh, but that... Mm, those were spikes that I didn't notice. Good job, me. Ah, shit. There's a... There's a puppet down there. Giving shields to these guys. With the fate phaser up here and just kill him real quick and then I think I can shoot the puppet from here nope damn Got me. ah grenadier did I get it yet yes I did okay so kill the dummy and it lets you kill everybody else Yeah, gotta clear those guys out. Oh, here is a scary enemy that is called an elite. And what they are is they're stronger, they're faster, and they deal more damage. They're just better in every way. And once you knock them down to half health, they hit you with a scary attack like that. And they can now follow you wherever you go. The game's way of telling you to finish what you started. <laughs> Ooh. Remind you that there are consequences to your actions kind of thing, I guess. Oh, I gotta find some time to heal. Yeah, get across from him, and... There we go. Just had to make a little bit of space there for me. For myself. Okay, that'll clear off some of his buddies. Killing him will also kill all of his friends. And what he does is give you a shit ton of cells, and also will drop one item, typically an amulet, which replaces your collar. That doesn't do anything, it's just a prisoner's collar. This one reduces damage from projectiles and drops a bomb when you roll, which is pretty nice. And there, the prisoner's collar. And now you can see it on the bottom left, the very far left. Okay. Now, I proceed. But I think I'm gonna get dead. Because <laughs> I have to fight another one of those to actually progress the game. And that really messed me up. So I'm not sure how well the next one's gonna go. Because typically I only like to fight elites on full health. And they don't really give you much time for a potion. So I really just have full health go in try to kill him. Okay, splash that guy. Cut him up. Oh, no! Explode him! Nice! Okay. Bang! Shoot the little flyer. Hey, bud. Get dead. Okay. I just realized my window's open. I'm gonna close that. There are children out there. They've probably heard me swear a few times. Ha ha ha. 
Good going, me. Anyway, alright, look at the map real quick. I just remembered, there actually is a map button I can just press. Oh, uh, no, over there is the uh, speed run door. Uh, I should probably show that off anyway. There are these little doors that look like this. And what they are is, this door has been sealed for 8 minutes and 4 seconds. Which means that if I'd gone here 8 minutes and 4 seconds ago or sooner, it would have been open. And if it's open, what's in there, from what I've seen, is like money and sometimes a blueprint for a new weapon. And it can also have like just uh, little uh, level up there. Which is a really nice thing to get, but it's not like necessary. So, it's a nice little bonus if you can get through it fast, but it's also not like it's diminishing you or making it harder if you don't get through. Ooh, a blueprint for the Spartan Sandals. I don't care about the Spartan Sandals. They are my least favorite weapon in this entire game. <laughs> because Spartan Sandals are pretty much useless. They have almost no range and deal very low damage. Get some more damage. Fuck up him. Cut him to shreds. Squash the little flyers. Shoot him up. Okay. Making our way through. Ground pound. Faster. Ah, one of these things again. The unlocks later, and what it does is it just grows and lets you climb up. But. Whoa, why'd I start <laughs> just walking real slow? Oh, cell that I missed. And some enemies I didn't kill. Blast for me! We must purge this world. Oh, is this it? Yeah, because that's where it wants me to grow so I can continue on the level. Which means that this is going to be the little elite fight, or the boss fight. Huh. Apparently, Siri uh, activated at some point. <laughs> Alright. And this one's an archer. Alright. 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 Please don't. I like my body parts where they are. Alright. Just gotta get... Alright. That went pretty well. <laughs> just gotta get him, you know... In a cycle, just going around him, I guess. I, the first time I got into this, when I played this for the first time, I could not get through that at all. Like, I don't think I even made it to the second area, which you saw how much I struggled earlier. Okay, so now just use it on this, and you go right on up. Okay, but I still have the level to complete. Uh, this might be easier to the other way, but... Damn! Damn! Fuck! <laughs> I was right! I should've gone the other way! Woo! That's cutting it close. Okay. Uh, I should probably just do a dead sprint to the end. Try to avoid him, can I? Alright, that guy gave up. That's nice. That's very helpful. Okay, I actually made it. <laughs> First try. And then this is something that can... You rub it, you teleport up there. So, those you unlock later just like the plant thing. And... Yeah. Just gonna go right on in here. I actually am surprised with how well this is going. I'm kinda, kinda proud of myself. But anyway, let's unlock this. Get that blood sword. Uh, put one more point in here. Gold recovery, pretty nice. Uh, and then what do I wanna level up? Actually, I have enough to just get this, which lets me transform items that I find on the ground or in chests into gold. It's a very useful thing to have. Uh, what weapon do I like? Got the blood sword. Yeah, why not? Oh, yeah, and that drops it for you. So you can see what it does. 
Now this is a level 2 weapon, which means it also has a bonus ability. So 50% of the damage on, or it does plus 50% damage on a poison target, so 150% damage total. And this weapon is just better than my balance blade anyway. Hit this thing. Get some more uh, healy juice. And ride the elevator to freedom! Now, let's see how well I can do this this time. Into the ramparts. Now this area, I think, is super pretty. Just gonna... Gotta wait for the load time. Doesn't really occur to me how long these load times are until I need to be talking through them. Uh... I also like about this game is that all the weapons are kind of unique. I'm not living through this. <laughs> but, anyway. All these weapons are pretty unique, so they all have things about them that make them different from each other. Like, the blood sword may function almost identically to what's called the oil sword, which is just... Uh, it coats people in oil, which is flammable. And it causes them to take bonus damage from a fire weapon, and it also makes whatever fire they're touching last longer, because you can set fire to the ground with a lot of different fire-based weapons. I actually haven't even seen one that doesn't set fire to the ground. Alright. Let's just try to get through that and heal up. Now, you can actually upgrade both the money bag that I unlocked and the healing flask. Which, if you upgrade the healing thing, then it gives you more uses of healing. And if you upgrade the money bag, it just gives you more money every time you die. What do you- what do you want, Siri? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the- I'm talking to the internet. Go away. Why are you still there? Stop this. I don't need you in my life. Anyway. Ooh, yeah, new ranged weapon. I really wanted that. Oh, and it's level 4, so it gets two abilities. It has plus three ammo. Pretty nice. And when you throw a knife, it also throws a grenade. Well, I guess the grenade's on cooldown. Yeah, there it is. And I just realized I have two bleeding weapons. So, gotta get all them damage over time. All that damage over time. All them dots. So many dots! I still haven't found any skills. I don't... Well, there's a skill level up, but I don't know why I haven't found any. Ah, another speedrun door. How long? Oh, it was 11 minutes and 30 seconds ago. Do you like bleeding? How do you like it if I put your insides outside? Press a little button, open the door. Standard game mechanic, mechanic is standard. Alright. Yeah, that's a teleporter. So I want out. Bring me back up. Whoa. Crush that guy. Over right here. Cut some bitches up. Stab him. Alright. I forgot I dropped bombs when I roll. Ooh, another level. Ah, uh, do I want five damage or four health? Let's go with health. I'm missing a bit, and I just like that little extra buffer, because it's based on percent when it upgrades your total health. It also upgrades your current health. Alright. I'm kind of hoping that I can actually make it through this and get to what is essentially a boss fight. <sighs> I'm not fucking with that. Nope. It's too many guys. I don't like it. I don't like the look of that. They got mean looks on their faces. I don't have anything to deal with hordes. I'm a very high solo di target damage right now. My build is not made for horde fighting. Fine, I'll open the door. God, so lame. Now let me just barrel through it. Can't believe this. Ooh, another level. They're just throwing these at me now. Okay. Also, when you use a ranged weapon in the air, it'll let you glide a little, which I think is really fun. 
just glide down on the enemies. There we go. And right back up to the top. Whoa, where did you guys come from? I don't remember this. And what is really good about that is you just do this and you glide over over the enemies. And they can't hit you. Well, most of them can't hit you. I'm pretty sure a couple of them can, like this guy. He doesn't give a he doesn't give a shit how far up you are. He's gonna hit you. These guys on the other hand, they do care. Wow. Yeah. I am really high level. I didn't expect this. I also thought that that would lead to something. I was wrong. Ooh, a flashbang. Yes. This also adds plus one health, which is nice. And what was its other ability? Uh, releases a cloud of poison. So, this one stuns enemies, which is pretty damn useful. I have a total of 700 health. And right now I have 60 or 96 of that. Uh, maybe it's over there. Yeah, I'm gonna teleport those five feet out of here. Don't don't worry about me. I'm I'm just being normal, man. This is what normal folks do. Ooh, and a blueprint. The force shield. Uh, that one could be pretty nice. Now uh, that is scary. That is terrifying. Jeevums. This is working out pretty well, which honestly better than I had anticipated. Alright, just kill that guy off. Alright. Get any of them. What? I'm definitely not editing all this bullshit out. We'll see what happens. But there is a strong likelihood that some of this is never seen before. Hey. Because I personally don't like seeing like super intense focus like this. But, I mean, some people do, so... I'll probably. It might stay. Okay, work with me. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Come on, game. What did I do to you? Come on. There's gotta be something around here I can do. to the end here <gasps> oh my god with four hit points left I make it to the end oh this is gonna be a super cool fight actually yeah oh <laughs> that was oh boy all right so we're gonna just we're gonna level up blood sword since it's what I'm using and the kunai since I've got those and okay what else am I using flashbang let's just get a specials get the flashbang a bit yeah okay cuz I'm about to go into a boss fight and I'm probably gonna die okay put five in put ten in and let's just... How do I get this? What do I need to unlock? I just need to unlock eight items. Okay. Put a little in there. Okay. Now over here, 
We got that Healy thing. This is, like... This is a slightly above average run for me. Like, in my regular save file. Hopefully, it's not much better than this, but... Oh! Oh, that mute is loud. Ow, my ears. Okay, turn that down. Yup, that's boss fight music, alright. Come at me, bye. The incomplete one. What's that? Get all them done. All those boss out here. Get all my daggers. Okay, that's all my daggers right now. Okay. Hit him. Everything I had. Oh, shit. Let's dodge. Not me. Uh, <laughs> I am genuinely shocked. I did get two of my favorite weapons, to be fair. And I have way higher stats than I was expecting to. Ah, uh, there's the speedrun game. How far behind? How far? 20 minutes and zero seconds. I'm exactly 20 minutes behind. <laughs> Alright. I actually really like the weapons, so I'm just gonna pump them in there. Yeah. Oh. That, that felt good. That felt really satisfying to do. Okay. Let's keep, let's keep going. This will probably be turned into two episodes, and I was not anticipating that. But, I made it all the way to the Fog Fjord. Fjord? I think it's Fjord. Okay. Jump up. Flashbang them. Get up the knives. Keep on. Stuff. Oh, didn't want to break that door. Actually. Nah. Alright, well, I'm telling you now. This is so scary than I can I still only have one heal. So. Ooh, ooh, that sword. That move is scary. It'll. It'll hit you as many times as it feels like. And you have no say. At least, I didn't when I got hit by it. This guy real quick. Okay. I've had no way to do and making it this far with this. But I am very pleased with this. Okay. 
10 skill points. What can I say? Okay, it's got more strength since I already have 6 health but only 5 strength. Yeah. Balance that out. No, we don't want you. Okay. Keep on moving. Cheese this shit. Cheese to your heart's content. I keep forgetting. First one of the doesn't mean that my character is worse. Excuse me. Facts. I I feel a bit better. Than that. Like this just feels good, man. <laughs> okay. Now let's see if those fuckers up top. Get him bleeding and crying. Okay. Now. What's the next? This is. All this stuff I got. Six arrows to fall from victims. I've never heard that one before. You've never heard that ability before? I'm not sure you should check it out. Um, 